Another new stair type in Revit 2013 is the U-shaped winder. All the stairs we have been doing at this point that are non-radial have a flat landing. A U-shaped winder is similar, however there is no landing. The stair calculation continues where the landing would be. The objective of this lesson is to add a U-shaped winding staircase by simply picking one point. To get started, find the Revit model called U-shaped winders. In the project browser, under floor plans, go to level 2. Let's add the U-shaped winder. In the architecture tab, click the stair button. In the components panel, click the U-shaped winder button. Notice that it all comes in in one shot. Hit the spacebar three times. This will angle it towards our landing. In the properties dialog, change the base level to level one, the top level to level two, and the multi-story top level to level five. Again, hit your spacebar to rotate it into the correct orientation. Place it along the reference plane in the intersection of the floor slab. Once you have it placed, click finish edit mode on the mode panel. If you get an error saying the slope of the railing may not be parallel, that's fine. Close out. Go to a 3D view. You have it. Very quick way to model a winding set of stairs. As you can see, there's no landing. It keeps going straight up and you're in. This will come in handy for sure. It used to be quite tedious to achieve the same results. All we had to do was pick a single point for the stairs, then adjust the properties. That happened really, really quick.